came back school? to Bradford. That's when I went to the school, Carlton and Burnley. Right. And I didn't fit in because I couldn't speak English. Well, at all? Tiny Minimal. bit. What's his secondary school then? Ten uh, primary? I was in Carlton Bowling College, Undercliff, and listen, mate, f- f- death row, mate. Beard. Man said death row, you I'm know. I'm telling you. Really? But bit. I thought like a lot of that like, in Bradford, the Asians don't, don't the Asians stick together, bro? Well, them, I don't know about now, but in the schools, they, they, they should pick on me, but I was an outsider, wasn't I? Yeah. So they were like bullying me, and there were loads of them, mate. So I had enough, mate. You know what I mean? One day I just took my dad's spanner, the one who used to bully me, kicked fuck out of him, smashed his head open. Really? Yeah, I had to, bro. They used to nick my dinner tickets off me. Bro, you can't nick a man's dinner tickets. You know what I mean? Are you all right, bro? It's a it's a horrible school, Carlton. I don't know about now, but it was a Is horrible it? school, yeah. So you was getting physically bullied, yeah? Mm. Like mentally, physically. As soon as Spitting you... on me. Um, just doing horrible stuff, bro. What I mean? Is this Asian, like mainly Asian school? Bro, they were all Asians there at that right. time. I never, ever had no bad word with an English person. Yeah. It was just agents always bullied him in Carlton. So he used to bully you constantly, teachers Const- didn't do nothing. I couldn't tell him. He can't say no, in it. Well, what about your parents? Did you not tell I couldn't tell I couldn't tell my mum and dad, man. He can't tell your mum. I couldn't tell my dad. And I told my brother Ash, he says, kick fuck out. I said, how? He said, take take a tool for mum, innit? He says, the first one comes to you, the one who always starts from you, lay into Go him. for him first. And my brother gave me the best advice. Yeah. So Monday morning, when I have with my sig in the corner, the camera. Sig, how old are you, bro? We're young, innit? My, my yeah. sig in the corner, how old, bro? Uh, I must have been about 13, 14. Right, okay. Uh, I said, right, so when they come to me, give dinner tickets. I said, no problem. So I give the dinner tickets. I've got the wrench out, ready in my jacket. Yeah. I laid in, straight on his eye there. He started screaming like a bitch. Well, obviously, yeah. you would, didn't yeah, it, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just laid into him. I didn't stop, mate. There's enough for enough in it. Yeah. I've been holding him for months, yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, kicked fuck out of him. You hurt him badly. It was really badly. Right. The police had to come and arrest me and take me to the police station and everything. You know what I mean? I just went all out on him. Yeah. And I think I did right. Looking back, I was just about to say, looking back, was that the right thing to do? You yeah, know? you have to do that to bullies. Yeah. And then but I won't the... recommend it to nobody. Go and tell your teacher, yeah, tell your parents. Yeah, 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 course, but at that time, course. at that time, <laughs> I couldn't. Yeah. That mean? And it stopped instantly. Yeah, uh, well I got kicked out, didn't I? Oh, you got kicked out straight away? <laughs> I got kicked out. Obviously, they bring Kicked it. me out and I went, yes, I don't want to go back there. And then where'd you end up? Then this is the thing, my dad went, You're gonna come and work with me in textiles. So I went What age thirteen? Uh, uh I'd have put me on that what was that thing called man? Works experience. Right. I must have been thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I can't remember. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm forty three now, bro. Yeah, You're talking yeah. years ago. Yeah, come on, bro, if I hear you. And uh I started working with my dad in Wakefield in textiles. So you like leave school? I left school. I'm there and then. Man, I say I'm yeah. buzzing, bro. I'm I got buzzing, out of there. I got a spanner. And yeah. Fucking... And my dad was like, "I'm gonna show you now what work is in it." Right. So you, so you're starting this kind of entrepreneurial thing from yeah from early doors, then. Bless my dad, man. So you're working in textiles. Textiles, yeah. What's this? Just clothing. Uh, spinning, spinning wool. Right. Yeah. What, what is that? I'm, I'm not familiar. It's like spinning wool onto a tube. Right. And that goes makes jumpers, whatever clothes in it. Okay. But it was just mad, mate. Was it a factory? A factory at that time. What long hours? Yeah, I used to work from eight in the morning to eight at night. My dad. And it was your dad's factory, or he no, just no, worked no. there? We, we were workers. Right, 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 right. Just like lower class workers, just trying yeah, to. Yeah, just like my dad keep my head down on. And what did you learn in that place? I learned one thing: fucking hard graft, mate. Yeah. For the elders who came here from back home, what they went through and all that shit they went through, mate. Yeah. Some long hours, and I'm guessing long hours, not not a lot of breaks and stuff like that. No, they were proper strict. Really, why to sneak off me? Come on, yeah. you gotta have your ciggy, pal. Yeah. You gotta yeah. have your ciggy. I said to my gaffer, "Do you want me to take that box up there?" He says, "Yeah, go on, yeah, I'll do that." But I can do that, and I should stay there 15, 20 minutes, have a cig. Look, if they're not coming for me, but they only one lift coming up and down. Yeah. So see if the button's coming up. Yeah. So I used to chill out there 15, 20 minutes, and then you're obviously earning money. Yeah. Are you are you giving it back to to the family? Or is My dad never ever took money off me. Oh, that's nice. He, ne- he says your money, you you do what you gotta do with it. Okay. Then I used to give bits and bats to my mum, bless her. That mean. Yeah. But yeah, it was just eye opening. So I can see there's a good smile from you, t- thinking back at you. Know yeah. What I'm saying, but like it takes you back, bro. Which is nice to see. It's nice to see. Well, um, are you going out at this time? Because you said you got into a lot of bother afterwards. You seem like a bit of a yeah. A rude then boy. I did. I didn't want to do textiles, but I'm growing up now. Yeah, then, it's not the most fun yeah. thing to do, is it? And it's like, uh, so when I used to get paid, all the lads used to be around me. Right. Do you know that makes sense? Yeah. Because every you, Friday, you're earning more money, more money. Yeah. And they were at school and college. Um, they come to me. Come on, let's go and get a. 
uh, at that day, day there used to be draw. You remember draw? You used to smoke draw. What we weed? It's not weed. It's black or squidgy black or something like that. That's like ash, isn't it? Or something? Ash, yeah. Ash, right. So we used to go and buy ash for five pounds. Yeah. We used to all get high. I hated it. I've never liked the smell. Yeah. I used to just do it for them lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we used to go to the shop buy like separate cigarettes. 25 pence separate cigarettes. Right. And you was funding this project. I was funding this. <laughs> uh, I noticed how you get more friends when yeah, you're funding yeah. it, right? So we used to small call this in the area called Bronx, in the area. It's an area called Bronx. Where's that, in Bradford? Uh, on Leeds Road, back of Leeds Road, top of Leeds Road. Right. Uh, it was just mad, mate.